Welcome back, dear friends, to the Crimson Academy's reading of the Advent of Divine Justice. In this section, we'll be covering paragraphs 51 and 52. As to racial prejudice, the corrosion of which, for well nigh a century, has bitten into the fiber and attacked the whole structure of American society. It should be regarded as constituting the most vital and challenging issue confronting the Baha'i community at the present stage of its evolution. The ceaseless exertions which this issue of paramount importance calls for, the sacrifices it must impose, the care and vigilance it demands, the moral courage and fortitude it requires, the tact and sympathy it necessitates, invest this problem, which the American believers are still far from having satisfactorily resolved, with an urgency and importance that cannot be overestimated. White and Negro, high and low, young and old, whether newly converted to the faith or not, all who stand identified with it must participate in and lend their assistance, each according to his or her capacity, experience, and opportunities, to the common task of fulfilling the instructions, realizing the hopes, and following the example of Abdul Baha. Whether colored or non colored, neither race has the right or can consciously claim to be regarded as absolved from such an obligation as having realized such hopes or having faithfully followed such an example. A long and thorny road, beset with pitfalls, still remains untraveled, both by the white and the Negro exponents of the redeeming faith of Baha'u'llah. On the distance they cover, and the manner in which they travel that road must depend, to an extent which few among them can imagine, the operation of those intangible influences which are indispensable to the spiritual triumph of the American believers and the material success of their newly launched enterprise. Let them call to mind, fearlessly and determinedly, the example and conduct of Abdul Baha while in their midst. Let them remember his courage, his genuine love, his informal and indiscriminating fellowship, his contempt for and impatience of criticism, tempered by his tact and wisdom. Let them revive and perpetuate the memory of those unforgettable and historic episodes and occasions on which he so strikingly demonstrated his keen sense of justice, his spontaneous sympathy for the downtrodden, his ever-abiding sense of the oneness of the human race, his overflowing love for its members, and his displeasure with those who dare to flout his wishes, to deride his methods, to challenge his principles, or to nullify his acts.